Hi friends, we are going to play an odd and even card game to go with our odd and even number lesson that we learned last week. So I hope you like it. Let's get started. Okay friends, for this odd and even card game, you are going to need a whiteboard or a blank piece of paper, a marker or a pencil or pen, and a deck of cards. But for the deck of cards, I want you to take out all the face cards. So the face cards are cards that look like this. So I want you to take those out of the deck of cards. All you are going to keep in here are the number cards and the ace cards. This card is going to stay in there because the ace will represent the number one. Okay, before we get started, you are going to have to label your whiteboard or your piece of paper with odd and even. Odd meaning there is one left over and even meaning there are equal pairs. So you can pause the video right now so you can make your T-chart on your whiteboard or your piece of paper before we start the game. Okay friends, let's get started with our game. But make sure that your deck of cards is facing down, meaning you cannot see the numbers. Okay, first you are going to flip over the very top card. And that card is showing the number five. But I don't really know if five is going to go on the odd side or even side. So, I'm going to check by drawing five dots down here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to see, am I going to have one left over to make it an odd number? Or am I going to have equal pairs to put it on the even side? And remember, a pair is a group of two. So let's see, I'm going to circle this group of two and this group of two. Ooh, but I noticed that I only have one left over. I don't have another dot to make it into a pair. So if I have one left over, that is telling me that five is an odd number. So I'm going to place the card underneath the odd section. Good. Let's go on to the next card. Okay, now my card is showing the number four, but I still don't know if four is an odd or even number. So I am going to draw four dots to help me figure it out. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to circle the pairs that I see. Remember, pairs is a group of two. So I'm going to circle these two to make a pair and these two to make a pair. And I notice that I don't have any dots left over. All the dots were made into an equal pair. So that is telling me that four is an even number. So I'm going to place the card under the even section. Good, let's go on to the next card. Now I'm showing the number nine, but nine's a pretty big number. So I don't know if nine is an odd or even number. So I'm going to draw dots again to help me find the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm going to start circling all my pairs to see, do I have one left over or do I have equal pairs? So I'm going to circle these two dots circle these two dots 
circle these two dots, circle these two dots, and uh-oh, I noticed that I have one dot left over. There is not another dot to make it into an equal pair. So if I have one left over, that is telling me that nine is an odd number. So I'm going to place the nine card underneath the odd section. Good, let's go on to the next card. Now I'm showing an ace card, but remember an ace card is representing the number one. So now I have to think, is one an odd or even number? Well, I don't know, so I'm going to draw dots to help me. I'm going to draw one dot. Can I make one dot into an equal pair, meaning a group of two? No, I can't, you're right. So, one is an odd number, so I'm going to put it underneath the odd section because one dot cannot be made into a group of two. Nice job, let's go on to the next card. Now I'm showing number eight. Is eight an odd or even number? Let's draw a dot to help us find that answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's start putting our dots into pairs. Remember, a pair is a group of two. That's right. I'm going to circle that group of two, circle that group of two, circle that group of two, and finally circle that group of two. I notice that I have no dots left over. So eight is an even number because there is an equal amount of pairs. So I'm going to place the eight card underneath the even section. Good job, let's go on to the next card. Now I have the number three. Is three an odd or even number? Let's draw dots to help us find that answer. One, two, three. Let's start circling our pairs to see, do I have one left over or do I have an equal amount of pairs? So I'm going to first circle this group of two, but I notice I have one left over. I don't have another dot to put this into a pair. So that is telling me that three is an odd number because I have one left over. So I'm going to place the three card underneath the odd section because three has one left over. Good job, let's go on to the next card. Now I have number 10. Is 10 an odd or even number? Let's draw dots to help us find that answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm gonna draw my 10 dot over here because I'm running out of room. 10. Now I'm going to start circling my pairs to see, do I have one left over or do I have an equal amount of pairs? I'm going to circle these two. I'm going to circle these two. Circle these two. Circle these two. And circle these two. I notice I have no dots left over. I had an equal amount of pairs. So that is telling me that 10 
is an even number. So I'm going to put the 10 card underneath the even section because I had no dots left over. Good, let's go on to the next card. Now I have number two. Is to an odd or even number? Let's draw dots to help us find that answer. One, two. Now let's circle our pairs, our group of two, to see do I have one left over or do I have an equal amount of pairs? So I'm going to circle this group of two. Look, I noticed that I have None left over. I don't have any dots that are by themselves. So that is telling me that two is an even number. So I'm going to place the two card underneath the even section because I did not have any dots left over. Good, let's go on to the next card. Now I have number seven. Is seven an odd or even number? Let's draw our dots to figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start circling our pairs. So I'm going to circle this pair, I'm going to circle this pair. I'm going to circle this pair and uh oh I noticed that I have one left over if I have one left over that is telling me that seven is an odd number so I'm going to place the seven card underneath the odd section because seven has one dot left over good let's go on to the next card Now I have number six. Is six an odd or even number? Let's draw our dots to help us find that answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's start circling our pairs or groups of two. Here's a pair. Here's a pair, and here's a pair. Good, I noticed that I have no dots left over. So if I have no dots left over, that means that there was an equal amount of pairs. So six is an even number. So I'm going to place the six card underneath the even section because all the dots had another dot to go with it. So that means that they all had pairs. Good. Okay, friends, that's the end of our odd and even card game. But if you want to, you can keep playing the game on your own and send me a video response of you playing. See you tomorrow.